Captain Carmack like at the house! Catch the wind! Crowd on ever! Oh, Billy Riley, 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 oh, Billy Riley
veins. Let's move. Change those sheets. Oh, Billy Riley. Oh, Billy Riley. Master of a drogue. Oh, Billy Riley. Oh, Billy Riley has a nice young daughter. Oh, Billy Riley. 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 Please come in and cast an eye about. What can I do for you this day? Ah, oh, well, good day. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Why, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. If we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados. 
and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. There's top Trimmers off the wind! Anchor away! Sub blockade. Captain Cormac has the helm! Anchor. Remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye. Hold a moment! Where do you think you're going? I think not! Get back here now! <laughs> this A rifle you there stay where you are how can that be it makes no sound thanks for the present Buster Washington Thank <laughs> you. 
This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Master Washington has outdone himself. He has been looking rather pale, though. And Before that, even. At least since the death of Harold Goodwinson. Centuries of war. Need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. How long do you reckon the English and French can fight? Since Cressy is the Ice Wager. Oh, this one is.
Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> <laughs> On his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Oh, damn it. You better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Can't get past me. Is that a shit mortar? That's not sported. I think I can hit him. Captain has the wheel. Get the mates. Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. In the sickly way that man looked, he would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. 
They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why should we? It's just that, he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern? What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had the candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then you'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals of Rome. Right to near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets a strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both can be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. 
I don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. I never thought I'd say this to a complete stranger, but I owe you my life. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hands to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. 
Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Captain, I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded. And I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. They also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye. He sails these very waters. And he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. There he is! Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you! He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea! Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. I can't to smile. Something that speaks is the Templar's treasure. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. But he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. She's making her way through! It worked! The way is clear. Now, uh, what's more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is giving away.
Captain Corbett. Your peace with God. I don't see Smith's ship! There's Smith! He's moving again! No doubt he hoped to be a spectator of your device. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. Is this another Templar tactic? They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, sake. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Blood of the deuce! Missed! There's the gallants and roids! That wind's trouble, Captain Cormac. to the wind! Bash and time! Fart with yourselves! We've been oh, hit! Uh, What's our status? Send them to the icy drink! Now we know where he was headed. Bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of it. Stop you! You there! Got him in 
Artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed.
The precursor box. Smith's dead. Well done, Shane. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Ligure Full. We'll have to see.
my thanks for your trust. How long are you planning to stay? Only a few days. Please wait for you. So many soldiers posted. He's all this to protect the politicians. Indeed. There's more hot air here than in the Sahara. Where are you from, sir? What's the matter? You lost. And what is your business here? That's none of your concern. With respect, sir, it is. I want to... Come on, you pup. Work for your pay for one. And here I thought it would be... You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. And you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape.
come from the pub. Ah, uh, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped.
I'll take that. You Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes.